Hello YouTube, Red Reptiles here with another video. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys a tour of the day in the life of a tortoise keeper. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let's get started. Alright guys, so to start off, I'm going to tell you guys what I do. Uh, this is no particular order. Usually the things change around as my day progresses or what needs to be done first. So right now, today is a feeding day and that means that the tortoise enclosure needs to be clean before I feed so like that they don't eat anything that they are not supposed to. As you guys know right now, I'm inside the adult saccata pen. Here we have two females and inside the house, which is also getting clean, is goobs and another female. Uh, the floor, if I can show you guys, has old hay from feedings and also bamboo leaves and on top of that we also have poop now the reason why i don't like to let the bamboo leaves sit for too long and the old hay is because if they do ingest it the bamboo leaf has a component that isn't good for the tortoise and it causes harm the hay i have no problem with unless it's moldy of course but this hay is fresh from last feeding so it's not that big of a deal so what i do is i get my rake i rake everything up into a corner and then i put it into a trash can so i'm going to show you guys that process and then we're going to move on to soaking the baby tortoises All right guys, so as you guys saw from the time lapse, you guys saw me rake the pretty much the front section of the enclosure, which I call the, the main area. And then I still have the runway to rake, but I just want to get this little clip out there. So basically, like I said before, throw everything in the garbage. It's mostly consisted of bamboo leaves, but then every so often you have your uh, alfalfa slash orchard hay, which isn't a bad thing for them to eat. But what I do not like them to eat is the bamboo leaves from this tree right here and since it's such a large tree it's always throwing out leaves so i'm always doing this i like to do this pretty much every time i feed which is every other day or sometimes even daily i just come in and rake this just to make sure that the load doesn't get too high for me to obviously clean eventually and uh i basically do that process because as i mentioned there's a component in bamboo which i believe is silica which is not good for the tortoises it's harmful for them i'm not 100 percent sure that that component is silica but uh i believe so so don't quote me on that but uh you can also do research on that and just make sure that that is the right component that i'm talking about but whatever component that the bamboo does carry it is harmful towards the tortoises and it's not necessary for them to be eating since it is green, they are motivated to eat it, so I like to make sure that's clean. And since it is dried up as well, they might confuse it for hay. So there's that battle that I always fight. But uh, as you guys know, I pick up everything just to make sure it's clean, no poop, no calcium deposits left in the enclosure. And another reason why I clean it so that the, the ground here is nice and smooth and I can make sure that uh, I can see nesting behavior because the breeding season is you know in motion and uh, their laying season is gonna start up here soon. So that's one of the reasons why I do this. I do this with my red foot, I do this with my younger socatas, and obviously I will be able to do this with my aldabras and radiators once they're a lot older and they're out of their enclosure. So I wanted to share that with you guys and now let's move on to the next step. All right, guys, so the next step is clean water. As you can see, the water is fresh and they will step in it, dirty it, just like you guys saw right there. But now that they know that there is fresh water in the enclosure, they will use this. Hydrating your animals are important, and especially tortoises. People think that tortoises do not drink water, and that is actually false. Uh, tortoises will drink water whenever they ne feel necessary too. And of course, they're getting necessary moisture through their diet because different vegetables carry water. And also, I like to supplement every, every so often a nice watermelon for them just to provide extra moisture in their diet. That being said, so cotta tortoises and grassland species do not uh, have the necessary diet digestive tract to handle sugary food, so we don't offer fruit all the time. But uh, like I said, just a supplement just to make sure that the water is uh, getting to them. Now, as we can see here, this animal is drinking. And as you guys notice, her nose is inside the water. And that is because tortoises drink through their nose. Aldabras will do this. Uh, as you guys see right there, my sulcata is drinking through her nose. And it's a very cool clip that I just got there. So I wanted to share that with you guys. And for people who don't think that tortoises drink water, they do. So here's a nice little clip. Hey guys, so I just got back from soaking my baby sulcata tortoises and also my young cherry head, which uh, is living in this enclosure as well for now. And uh, I'm gonna feed these guys, feed the aldabra, feed the radiated and put calcium. So as you guys see to my left and your right, that is a variation of uh, organic spring mix. And um, the reason why I like to do that is because uh, it comes with the necessary greens that they need when they're young. Now, I like to take out the chard and I also like to take out the spinach because that's too much protein for my animals. So besides removing that, the rest of it is very necessary. And then today, since it is the day that they need, I sprinkled my calcium tortoise block from Zumed. It's infused with the Puntia cactus and it gives the necessary vitamins that they need. I do calcium every other day or um, twice a week, depending on the, the week. But uh, mostly it's just two, it's about three times a week they like to do just because 
it provides the necessary calcium that they need and on top of the soaking on top of the proper diet the tortoise uh, will grow very nicely and as you guys can see these little sulcatas are nice and healthy and i've raised them since hatchling so i wanted to share that with you guys i'll do the same process with the aldabra and the radiated and then i'll move on to the adults which you guys will see some feeding from that so that's pretty much what i do for the babies and uh the adults were about 50 percent done all right guys so i just uh laid down some food for the red foot tortoise as you can see it's romaine green leaf lettuce yellow squash kind of sprinkled in there and then some carrot tops uh today i didn't give them fruit because i ran out i need to go buy more but usually they would get some strawberries papaya mango maybe some melons and these tortoises also eat the grass that is in the enclosure and as you guys remember from last video i uh did that section so i just wanted to share that with you guys and show you guys that these tortoises are you know being fed the necessary nutrients they need and on top of that every once in a while uh, i'll increase the protein intake because they can eat some protein i've never offered them uh, boiled eggs or boiled chicken yet but i know people do that what i like to do is I like to get ground worms from the earth earthworms essentially and i just give it to them so they can snack on that once in a while so here's a quick rundown most of them are inside the temporary hide there and then the rest are just kind of foraging around the enclosure so here's the red foot tortoises all right guys, so the next enclosure that is being fed is the young Sokata tortoises. Here is Galia, my female, Ganesh. Then we have uh, Daisy who is inside that burrow who I'll take her out now so she'll notice. And then inside here, we have a young little tortoise raising up inside the hide. Uh, they got the same thing, but they did get a nice bed of hay under. Then they got green leaf, romaine, and uh, obviously they got the squash mixed up in there. And then next up, I'll take all that food and I'll feed the rest to the big adult Sokata. So here's the food, and then here's the tortoises eating from there. All right, guys, so here's lastly the adult sulcata group. There's gaps coming out of the burrow. And basically what I do is I don't like to feed a lot of veggies to them because their primary diet should be hay, especially for all grassland species. So what I do is I put a big bed of hay down and I mix whatever little greens that I feed to them inside. So like that when they are eating, they are getting the haze as well. Today they got green leaf, romaine, uh, and they also got the squash. And then I threw in a few carrots because I had some leftovers. So that's pretty much what they got today. Now the food varies every time I feed them. Like I said in previous videos, it all depends on what's available at the store that I could buy and what diet I want to round off for them that week. So pretty much this is uh, every other day thing for me as far as feeding goes. And then taking care of the enclosure is what I do. So I just wanted to give you guys that little clip here. I'm going to leave you guys off with a nice little time lapse of these tortoises eating. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe, rate, comment, likes, and see my fellow herpers. So I hope you guys got some insight on what it means to be a tortoise keeper and what I do on a daily basis. So until next time, thanks for watching.